This is my uh, dual solenoid uh, powered engine I've been working on for a while. It's uh, got a 7 inch flywheel as you can see on the front. And on the back here you can see it's got a solenoid mounted on either side. And uh, they're connected to the crankshaft through a scotch yoke. So as the flywheel turns it uh, moves both of those solenoids in and out. <clears throat> on the front of the engine, uh, as you hopefully can see, I've got a uh, hall sensor mounted on each side. And then this uh, aluminum disc on the back has a magnet where that little black spot is, if you can see it. And as that passes over those hall sensors, it uh, <clears throat> sends a signal through the wiring here down underneath the uh, unit where the electronics are. So here's a, a view of the electronics. Hopefully you can see that. Um, move it a little closer here maybe. <clears throat> uh, over here on uh, this side is the power jack. And then right up here, you might be able to see that very well, is a... Uh, voltage regulator that takes the 15 volts input from the jack and steps it down to a regulated 5 volts to run this little block in the middle which is an Arduino Nano. Uh, over here on this side we have a, a Cytron a dual motor driver which will take up to I think 35 volts and 10 amps. Um, <clears throat> The power supply that I'm using with it currently takes is puts out 15 volts at 5 amps. So what happens when this thing is running is uh, the hall sensors up on the top uh, are connected to the Arduino. The Arduino reads those sensors continuously, monitors them, and when it senses one of the uh, <clears throat> solenoids at top dead center, it activates that solenoid, which causes it to pull it in and turn it. And then uh, as, the hall sen as the magnet passes the other hall sensor, it turns the first solenoid off and turns the second one on. <clears throat> does that by sending a signal. Uh, the Arduino does that by sending a signal to this motor driver, which is then connected to the two solenoids. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'm eventually going to uh, hook some controls up. I'm going to put two potentiometers and a slide switch on the front of this. Currently, the motor is running at full throttle, as it were. It's running at 15 volts, firing at top dead center on each of the solenoids and consuming about 5 amps. Uh, these controls will allow me to adjust the dwell, or the timing, so that I can activate the solenoids uh, for some adjustable period of time after top dead center, which will control the speed. And then I can also control the dwell, which will control how long the Arduino keeps the, the solenoid energized before it shuts it off. By shortening that period, I can slow it down that way too. It's currently running in four-stroke mode, which means that <clears throat> each of the solenoids fire every other revolution. So it, it does a fire, fire, skip, skip, fire, fire, skip, skip, fire, fire. And I'm doing that to emulate the sound more or less of a full-size uh, gas engine uh, that would run on four-stroke. When I install the slide switch, uh, that's going to allow me to switch it back and forth between two-stroke mode, where the, the solenoids will fire every revolution, or four-stroke mode, which is what it's running in now. So let me go ahead and uh, get this thing hooked up, and I'll show it running. So uh, here I've got it uh, hooked up to the power supply and ready to go. I've actually got it throttled back to about 60% uh, on, on the voltage because it just it runs too fast if I run it up to full power. Um, also, you hear kind of an annoying little whine when those solenoids are energized. And uh, what that is, is that's the pulse width mod modulation signal from the... Uh, driver it basically controls the power to the solenoids by using a pulsed dc and the pulse frequency on that dc uh, happens to be down in the audible range uh, and that's the sound you hear so um, <clears throat> in the uh, 
In the finished engine, I'll be uh, controlling the speed with the dwell and the uh, timing, and so the pulse, the PWM will be at a constant DC and it won't have that whine. So anyway, let's fire it up. Slowing it down with my finger there. It doesn't have a whole lot of torque at this power, but because it's so friction free, it still tends to run kind of fast. So there it is. More to come when I get the controls installed.